first trimester. Bring your own light. Well, hello there! Hey kids! It's the city and beyond again, with part two of our England series. And this time, we're going to take you along with us in jolly old London. I hope you're ready for chips and curry, a warm cup of tea, maybe some biscuits, but stay tuned and enjoy the ride. London now. We're, we've been to London before, but we've never made a video here. So uh, we're pretty excited to show you a little bit. It was before we started filming videos. Yep, like a year, I think, before. Yeah. So I've been to London twice. Kamal's been to London once. Um, we don't usually do touristy things twice, but since we are here very early, I mean, it's like 9.30 in the morning. Yeah. We will show you a couple of the go-to spots that we like still um, before we just run our errands, <laughs> aka get things that we can only get here. Welcome to London. Welcome to London. We got to 3,000, y'all. Thanks to all of you. The day we got to London. Our first stop was Buckingham Palace, which is a must-see if you've never been to London. During this time, the Queen was still alive, but we knew that she wasn't home because of the crispiest Union Jack that you've ever seen on top of the building. Because we've already been here before, we weren't going to stay around for the changing of the guards, but you can see that people were getting ready to gather to see it for themselves. Our next stop was to run an errand to get my favorite tea in the world. Now we can get it home in the States, but going here directly has way more options. And they have a lovely cafe for you to sample some of their fine wares. Okay, now, can anyone but the Brits spot my fundamental flaw that I'm about to perform? Please kids, learn from my mistake, and Brits, trigger warning. Yes, that's right, I removed the filter, but I did remember cream first. The finest tea. And I like mine extra chunky for some reason. Despite my error, it is still some of the finest tea I've ever had. But don't worry, shortly after, a waiter came by and replaced my cup. And then we were able to enjoy the rest of our morning tea. For our next stop, we decided to hop a double-decker bus. We're here at the British Museum. It's actually a free museum um, with a lot of historical um, artifacts and what have you. I don't know, I've, I've never actually been in here before, but from what I'm told, for a free museum, it is quite impressive. So let's check it out. Before you enter, you need to stand in a queue for security. It's fairly quick. Once we got inside, I was perplexed at how vast the building actually was. Scores of history, different people from all walks of life, all coming around to see all these stolen artifacts. Now, would we recommend you coming to this location? Yes, especially if you like history, don't want to spend a lot of money, and you want to stay cool during a heat wave.
This is Kamau's absolute favorite metro system. Our next stop was Borough Market, which if you've never been, is a cornucopia, a wonderland of fine food, fine meats, fine cheeses, and fine art. As we've already mentioned, Selena was in her first trimester, so she was very hungry and very tired. So rather than waiting in one of the lines, we decided to visit Roast. It was a great location with great food, great service, and a wonderful view of the market. Also, it had AC. Our last stop in London is somewhere I've been waiting to go for the last five years. For all you OG City and Beyond fans, you may recognize this from our Doha video. Yes, that's right. Outside of Qatar, London is the only other place to get tiger cookies. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Worth the wait, worth the stop. Well kids, that's going to be it for us in London. Be sure to subscribe to see more of our adventures in England. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.